You might recall the video I did on the Tourbox, that is that sort of Xbox game controller-like device used to control Lightroom, Photoshop, and some other software. Well, there's a lot of companies on the market that do similar things, and today we're talking about the Loop Deck Live. Hey, this is Scott Weidenkiewicz, a storyteller with a camera, talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. And in this video, we're talking about this bad boy. That's the Loop Deck Live. Just like the tour box, the Loop Deck is a device that you can actually have all these buttons and dials programmed to do different things in different applications on a Windows machine, on a Mac machine, and it could really enhance and speed up your workflow in whatever software you're working in. There's multiple versions of the Loop Deck. There's the original Loop Deck, which kind of looks like a keyboard with a bunch of buttons and dials. There's the Loop Deck Plus. There's a whole bunch. When Loop Deck announced Loop Deck Live, I knew that this was the device for me. And here is why. You see, I not only do photography and edit my photos, but I also do videography, as you know, because you're watching one of my videos right now. I do some live streaming and webinars and things using Ecamm Live and Zoom and a bunch of applications, and Loop Deck Live is actually designed to be programmed for any software for a quick push of a button and the buttons will actually, they're, these are little screens and they tell me exactly what the button will do. That's right, instead of me having to figure out, I can just look at the screen and say, oh, that's my mute button and push that. And there's a tactile feedback, so it sort of does this little vibrate when you push it. Now the Loop Deck Live does come with a bunch of built-in presets and for different software like Lightroom and Photoshop and Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere and all these, there's some additional custom profiles you can download like for ScreenFlow and some software like that. There's not a custom profile for Ecamm Live, so I've been building out my own for my own needs specifically and it's been working out really well. Now there's not much more I can show you for of this besides how slim it is. This little stand pops on and off. You don't need to use a stand, but I actually like it. And it's USB-C driven as well, just like the tour box was. Just go right there and you can see that video. But let's head over to the computer and I can show you real quick what Loop Deck Live can do. Okay, so here we are at the computer and I want to show you very simply that, uh, First, I'm going to show you how the Loop Deck switches automatically between what I'm doing at any given time. And right now I'm in Safari, and you can see on, this, on the Loop Deck screen that it is actually showing me Safari's, uh, you know, its control. So I can go ahead and just use scroll, and it'll do literally just a web scroll up and down, right? So there's different buttons that do different things for... Uh, Safari that there are for the Finder. I could bring up the uh, activity, you know, levels of CPU usage of uh, my computer anytime by pushing that button when I'm on a default Mac software. Now, of course, this can all be customized as well. All these buttons can be customized, but you can see only these, the circle here, and then one, two, three, and four have been customized for, by default, for Mac OS. So now I'm in Lightroom and you can see that Loop Deck Live has actually changed all of these buttons, all the buttons have changed, these dials have changed, the touch buttons here have all changed to uh, actually be exactly what Loop Deck believes should be configured for Lightroom. And of course, what they've done is they've actually made uh, one, two, three, and four, and five um, to do different things, like you could change the menu of what is, uh, what is being displayed here and, and things like that. And, but there's some quick dials up and down to just change temperature. So if I was to go to the develop module, and once this loads, I can go ahead and if you look at my screen uh, at the same time as looking at the loop deck, you'll see that uh, if I go, I'll change the temperature right here, right? So I'm gonna change the temperature with a little bit of dial movement. It's gotta wait for Lightroom to load. It's super slow as always. And I'm gonna just, all I'm gonna do is change the temperature, right? You can see I turn the dial, the temperature changed in Lightroom. I'm gonna just undo it just because uh, I don't wanna screw up the work that I'm doing on this photo. And then if I was to switch over to Photoshop, you'll see that instantly everything on the Loop Deck Live has changed to Photoshop. And of course, the cool part is that I can use this in Ecamm Live. So if we bring up the settings for Loop Deck, you will actually see that uh, it shows me exactly what is on the screen. I can drag and drop and reorder things. I can change things. I can see what it's gonna be like in Final Cut Pro, which is really cool. Um, I can actually go and see my, where is Ecamm? Here's my Ecamm Live. So I've customized all these buttons to match my scenes. And then of course, 
I've got some things here. So uh, uh, we have a timer that I use on, on Ecamm Live, my mute button, and then I have a, a whole bunch of scheduled actions here. It actually is doing a timer, then it's unmuting and then going to a different scene. And all of that is in one button. It's doing a whole bunch of things in one button. I can customize all of it. So what's really cool is I can program it to anything. You can see Aurora HDR is in here. Um, there's Adobe Audition. Um, there's a bunch GarageBand. So for audio people who are working heavily in GarageBand or in other software like that, you can customize here's Capture One. All these are already built in, and then you can customize some other ones as you want. There's even a Spotify one. So if you listen to a lot of music in Spotify, you've got a Spotify one built in as well. Pretty, pretty cool. So when it comes to the Loop Tech Live, if you were to compare it to the Tour Box, uh, it's about the same size. It feels as well made. Yes, there's plastics in it, uh, but the big advantage to me of the Loop Deck Live over the Tour Box is that digital screen. The fact that I can customize what the buttons do and see what those buttons do in real time, no matter what application I'm in, is a beautiful thing. The fact that I can use it for both editing and for the video webinars and live streams and whatnot is a beautiful thing. I'm excited to use the Loop Deck Live and I hope that you check it out if you need something similar. If you don't need the live streaming, check out the other products that Loop Deck offers. Maybe that's more suitable for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to click subscribe. I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday whenever possible. You don't want to miss it.